and welcome back to the channel <clears throat> on this video I want to talk about electric XP 3.0 and sp specifically about the uh, recall there's been a recent recall in the last few days um, on that bike if you purchased it between uh, November 2022 and May of 2023 there is a mechanical uh, situation or issue uh, with the uh, brakes the mechanical brakes on that bike that were sold in that time period and XP electric XP 3.0 and the recalling some number uh, right around 45,000 bikes that is an amazing number that's a lot of bikes wow and so if you're one of the ones that uh, had purchased a bike in that time period XP or electric should be uh, contacting you about your bike if they haven't already to let you know that uh, there's a situation with the brakes and if they haven't, I think if I were you, I would reach out to them and let them know that, hey, I heard about this uh, brake problem and uh, I purchased the bike in that time period. And, uh, and so that they know, and I guess they're gonna send a uh, some kind of a kit, home kit for you to do the repair and if you're not comfortable doing that i think they're going to replace them with hydraulic uh, brakes is what they're doing but if you're not comfortable with that they will um have you uh take it to a bike shop and they will cover the cost so that's uh, great that they'll do that and uh, because it's not your fault that the brakes are failing but um so that's the situation with that. That's a lot of bikes, 45,000. It's funny because just recently, within the last week or week and a half, I saw a guy riding a electric XP and I was talking to him about his bike and asking him how much he, did he like it. And he says, well, he says in the last two weeks, I put 200 miles on my bike. What does that tell you? So uh, in other words, and this was an older gen gentleman, probably close to 80 years old. And, um, and I thought, wow, good for you. That's, that's awesome. And anyway, uh, his bike was just purchased recently here. So his were the uh, upgraded hydraulic uh, brakes because his was purchased after May of 2023. So I just wanted to get that out there and let people know in case you didn't know about this uh, issue or problem. And so um, they uh, are saying that they've had four incidents where the brakes failed. Two of those resulted in injury. So uh, we don't want to see anybody get hurt on their bikes. So uh, if you purchased a bike between November of 2022, the XP 3.0 electric, uh, and uh, May of 2023, I would certainly uh, get those brakes uh, upgraded. I just can't believe that number, how many they've sold. And that was in that time period. Between November of uh, 22 and uh, May of 23. I mean, that's a six month stretch and they sold 45,000 bikes. Of course, uh, all the new bikes now, the XP 3.0, they are upgraded to the new hydraulic displays. Which is great, I'm, I'm glad that they did that. 
really I think all electric bikes these days should all be that way they should, should all be uh, hydraulic disc brakes Now I saw the report on that on the 7th of September, so I am not positive when the first report came out, but I saw a report on it on the 7th of uh, September, and I'm recording this video on the 8th of September, So, and it will be up on YouTube on the 9th of September, tomorrow morning. I'm shooting this video in the afternoon of Tuesday and this will go up uh, not Tuesday this is Friday I'll get I'll get it right the 8th tomorrow's Saturday the 9th so it won't go up tomorrow morning my time noon east, eastern time so as I run over a couple of things I hope there's no nails in that whatever that was beautiful day here the temperatures in the mid 70s, about 76 degrees. I think my favorite riding weather, temperature wise, is about anywhere in the 70s, basically. Particularly like 73 to 76, somewhere in there, that's perfect. And not a cloud in the sky where I'm at, so pretty nice. So uh, the electric XP 3.0 selling between November of 22 and, and May of 23, 45, some 45,000 bikes. That, probably makes them the top selling uh, e-bike model I, I would think I can't think of any other one that would sell that many units my goodness good on them because their bikes are affordable and that's probably why they're selling so many of them because people can actually afford you know, a thousand dollars a lot more than they could afford three or four or even two thousand dollars, you know, so um, I got a duck got some tree branches hanging over me so if you want to comment on this video, go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below I want to turn here, but I think I'll go to the next road and turn. The next road. I keep saying that, but it will be the next one. I may have to wait a minute. As I record this right around 3 p.m. in the afternoon, so it's kind of a busy time of day on a Friday. After that lady goes, well, I guess I'm not going to turn right yet. I'm going to go on this side. <clears throat> Busy little road right here. Okay, after this car goes, it's in front of me here. I'm going to do my turn. Oh, he's turning. Okay, cool. So don't stop riding your electric XP 3.0 for long. Just get your brakes repaired and hop back on your bike. And we'll see you guys back out on the road.
So that I keep seeing those bikes quite a bit, and it's the old uh, blue and uh, you know the white bike with the blue riding. You can tell it's a collector. It's kind of just a distinct bike. Oh, I don't want to turn there. I want the next road. Twenty miles an hour on the alert graffiti here feels like nothing. So smooth. And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.